I was living on my own, single mom, three kids. I was like, okay, I need to take control of my health. Yeah, where you started to where it's like a totally different person. Oh, hello. <laughs> Expecting my name on like a whiteboard. I know, it's like one of those like. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a really special day for me at least, and I hope you guys really enjoy this one. I have a special guest. My client Heather is in town and she came out to visit me for a workout. And we're also just gonna discuss a little bit about her fitness journey, uh, her transformation at 43. You 42 when you started? Yes. Oh, it's been about a year. Maybe 41. Actually. Yeah, I think so, when's your birthday? May. So about over a year she's been with me and she's had an incredible transformation. I wanted her to come here and just share a little bit about where she started because I think her journey is so relatable as a mom, single mom, somebody who is working and really just needing help with nutrition and fitness and has basically just starting from scratch. Right. Oh, definitely. So let's go back. Tell me what it was like when you first started. Like, where were you at in your fitness journey? What were you doing? It was pretty much non-existent. I didn't really work out. There had been times where I would go do cycling at the gym, like a spin class, but those never lasted very long. So I think when I reached out to you, I don't think I was really doing any kind of activity because yeah. I sat behind a computer all day. And yeah, so just like a sedentary success job. Yeah. So I remember when I asked you about your nutrition, <laughs> what, did, what did you say to me? I eat like a nine year old, yeah. which was funny. At the time, my youngest daughter was nine and I pretty much ate what she ate. <laughs> I'd make chicken nuggets and fries. So I'd eat chicken nuggets and fries. So what was the turning point or what made you reach out to me and say, hey, I need to get a coach. I want to get in shape. I want to make some changes. I guess I've always wanted to have abs. That was my goal. Just once in my life, I want to have abs. I know I found you because I had started following other people on Instagram and it kind of led me towards you. I just reached out. Yeah, I was ready, I guess. Yeah, it's the right time. So you've had an incredible transformation and you'll see in her photos, it's been maybe 10 pounds total. Yeah, most not composition because you, we really worked on your training as well. So step one was getting your nutrition handle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we've, we've been peeling back the layers of the onion on that one. And then step two was really looking at how you perform the exercises. I remember you sending me some form videos early on. And then even when you came out here for our retreat earlier this year, it feels like a year ago. It does. Just really working on your form technique. Just seeing such a change in your body. It's not even like fat loss. It's definitely adding muscle tissue oh, and just completely recomping. Uh -huh. It's so, been amazing. Yeah. So how, how did you feel when you started compared to how do you feel now? Like what's the biggest change for you? Definitely more confident. I remember telling my fiance that I'd never ever wear a bikini in my life. And now I just shred around in one. Like it's no big deal. You look so good. I'm like gushing over your photos every day. You are. Because your shape is just so crazy, right? Before there was a lot of, I wouldn't even say body fat, it was actually like more distension, right? So right. we had a lot of inflammation and distension in yes. the waist and yes. some body fat there. Not a lot of muscle in the lower half. Right. Right. Yeah. What I call like the pancake. Yep. Bow body. <laughs> yep. And since we've changed in nutrition, what do we uncover? The gluten sensitivity. Gluten sensitivity, also a dairy. Dairy sensitivity. Yeah. That made a huge difference. And just eating unprocessed foods. Yeah. <laughs> more protein. Getting the packaged foods. Yep. More protein. To your waist is totally cinched up. So yeah, I eat way more food now than I did before. And I've lost 10 pounds and I've gained a whole bunch of muscle. So eating more. Yeah. Remember that. I think <laughs> nine times out of 10, when I talk to a woman who is struggling with composition goals, they are under eating uh -huh. significantly. Don't even realize it. Under eating and then outs of binge eating. Yes. Right. Yes, exactly. Because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who skip breakfast in the morning. They think I'll skip breakfast. That way I don't. Coffee. Yeah. Door. Yeah. Rice cakes for lunch because they think that's the best option. And then at dinner, they're starving. So they eat a whole bunch of crap. That's how I was. I was actually like that too. I was like, get in the car, have my coffee, go through a drive-through, grab, I don't know, toast or a muffin or something, uh -huh. whatever they had, uh -huh. tastes good. And then lunch, try to eat healthy. Yep. Yeah. A salad. A salad, yes. Right. That's actually 1,200 calories. Right. And then by dinner time, you're like, bowl of pasta, mm -hmm. sweet cravings, snacky stuff, yep. right? And then you yep. go to bed. Yep. And you grab some wine, right? And then over the years, you're like, what happens? Yeah. No energy. Yeah. I never considered myself over weight or fat. I was just skinny fat. Skinny fat. Yeah. 
I just didn't have any muscle. Well, your shape has changed. Like I said, your waist is completely cinched in. You can see you have like a nice V taper, mm -hmm. the bodybuilding term, you guys, but it <laughs> gives you the illusion of an hourglass. Well, you have an hourglass shape though, yeah. right? Right. Glutes have grown, you have muscle in your legs. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's amazing. Yeah, it really is. It's incredible. It's so good. So what has been your favorite part about this whole process? Maybe most unexpected. I really enjoy going to the gym now. I think I get a little depressed on my off days because I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself because I haven't like done my routine. I haven't blown off some steam at the gym yet. So I do, I really love going That's to amazing. the gym. That's amazing. I think I felt like when you first started, you were kind of like, uh, you could <laughs> take it or leave it. Right. Like, I don't love the gym. Right. No, I I do. I don't love cardio still, but <laughs> you can go ahead and <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't love cardio either. <laughs> It, it is necessary at some point, right? right. So yep. we suck and, it up. Yeah, I mean, how long have I been doing it? Like six weeks? Mm -hmm. It's made a big difference. Yeah, we actually did a phase of like really bringing up your calories, figuring out what foods work well with your body. Mm -hmm. Because I think that's really key. It's not that like all oh, gluten's bad for everybody and dairy's bad for everybody, but there's certain foods that just sit well with your body, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think that was like the first phase that we sort of went through together and then saying, okay, now we're at a place, let's get down the rest of that body fat. Yeah. So cardio becomes a necessary evil. <laughs> right. <laughs> so what do you want to achieve now? So here's something. Oftentimes, when a woman starts with me, they're like, I just want to lose 10 pounds. Yep. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's all you can see is that little mini goal. And then soon after someone gets started, they realize, oh my gosh, I didn't even know I could do this. Exactly. So what do you aspire to do? Like, I'm still working on the six pack. That's definitely still my goal, but I am getting closer. But yeah, I'd like to be able to see my muscle without actually flexing. So that's our next step with you, yeah. right? Yeah. We've kind of finished off this fat loss phase, and now we're going to go right into building up calories, less cardio, <laughs> working on building. And this is key. So women who are in midlife, so 40s, 50s, I always say get through that fat loss phase. It should be like a tornado. Get in and get out as quickly as possible, and then spend as much time as you can in a build. Mm -hmm. Really building up your metabolism. It doesn't mean you're going to gain weight. Right. <laughs> Big. It's just build up your metabolism and try to have some good, dense muscle tissue, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm excited for that. Me too. Me too. You came to our retreats back in April. I did. What was that experience like for you? Very eye opening, I would say. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you think you're doing certain exercises right, and then you come to a retreat and you're like, oh crap, I have not been doing the exercise yeah. right. Or just to know like what muscle I'm actually supposed to be focusing on. I remember us doing pull-ups and I could not hold myself up there for the life of me. <laughs> That's still my goal to be able to hold myself, just hold myself up there for three seconds. Yeah. That's all I want to do. Building the body strength. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, I love the liturgy. I mean, everyone was so nice and helpful. It was a great experience. Yeah. I think it's very brave when someone comes out here because obviously, you know, we're here at Fit Club today and it's very much an influencer gym, mm -hmm. right? A little intimidating. We were talking about, you know, Vicky in our program. Mm -hmm. She's 59. And the first time she came out here, she came, she'd come out here by herself, got an Uber by herself, came here on <laughs> actually the night before the retreat and trained. And like, really? imagine like a woman who was just totally new to all this, uh -huh. walking into this very like influencer, yeah. like, neon lights. Gym. All by yourself. Yeah, Las Vegas, yeah. So I always give props to all the yeah. people who come out here because it's intimidating at first. Mm -hmm. maybe. But you know, once you dive into the fitness space and you meet people who are really about it and get around like like minded women, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is great. Yeah. Like, I feel at home, right? Yeah. It was fun. We had a great time. Yeah, for sure. So just to recap for myself and anyone who's watching who's just getting started, how would you describe like your journey from where you were, if you were to paint a picture for people, like what was life like, quality of life, your mm. body, how you felt compared to what results have you had by doing this program? Sure. So I started working a nine to five job, struggling, a single mom with three kids that are like in every activity possible. So I'm you never home. Too. Dance mom, yes. Yeah. Don't get me started on that. So just getting in a regular meal was a struggle for me. And I also didn't like really know what to eat. I didn't know what a healthy meal 
looked like. So now it's completely changed. Now my kids eat grilled chicken with me and, and rice and mashed potatoes and that kind of stuff. So, so that's been really nice to be able to show them how what a good diet looks like instead of eating out all the time. Yeah, definitely nutrition was so huge. Yeah, and finding out about the dairy intolerance and the gluten intolerance, that's made a huge yeah. difference too. Awareness like what works for your body yeah, yeah yeah and the routine of going to the gym has it's really like impacted me in other areas of my life because i know like if i can do this then i can do so, yeah the confidence yeah i can't think of anything else when i think back of when when you started i think for me i would say confidence the oh 100 percent. yeah it's like where you started to where it's like a totally different person. Oh, yeah, for sure. And being in your 40s and having young kids being like that example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to look good in a bikini, but yeah, right. <laughs> There's so many other benefits. Yeah. To this transformation. Journey, yeah. I think. And for me, like the most rewarding thing to see that it's not just about bikini. I mean, I want you to look good in bikini. Don't <laughs> get me wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. But there's, I think at this stage in life, a lot of women are confused at what to eat. Yeah. You know, we're kind of sold this idea of like pink dumbbells and eat salad. Yeah. Yes. A hundred percent. And here you are eating more food than ever. Uh huh. Lifting heavier than ever. Uh huh. Wearing smaller clothes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just having more confidence up uh, each new life. Yeah. It's so cool. I would suggest it to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think you didn't start sooner? I think it was just the right time in my life. I had just went through a divorce. I was living on my own, a single mom, three kids. It was this like, okay, I'm on my own. I need to be able to get healthy so I can be there for my kids and be there for myself because I kept coming down with more and more ailments like blood pressure and the list goes on and on. I was like, okay, I need to take control of my health. Yeah. What advice would you give to somebody who's like, you look back at your old self, what advice would you give her? Just do it. Get over your fear and just start. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is great. I'm so happy that you can come out here. I, we love it out here. We come out here all the time. Yeah, good. <laughs> She's like, I need a rest day. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Actually, your camera will say, yeah, sure. Let's go work out. Yeah, let's go work out. All right, guys. So that is it for today. I hope this inspired you wherever you're at in your journey. And if you guys like this video, if any of this resonate with you, go ahead and comment below. And please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this with a friend. And we'll see you guys next time.